I won't be delivering your paper after today. I'm going to South Africa. And? They have and Dad about together. They've sent for me. Oi! Where's your magazine? They live near Sun City. Make a change from Rain City. It's just like Las Vegas, my mum says. And there's loads of wildlife parks. I'm hoping to see all the big five. Hey, the big five, all right. Uh, What's them? Elephant, lion, buffalo, rhino. Oh, and one other. Um, you're not going all that way on your own, are you? Oh, no. I've got a responsible adult taking me. Sunblock? Check. Malaria tablets? Check. Chocolate Garibaldi's? Check. Mum's favourite. She's asked me to take a load with her. <sighs> Funny the things you miss when you're abroad, innit? See this? Full of crisps. They're never any good when you go away. Mm, it's people I miss when I go away. It's only for a week, this. Unless you like it too much, you might stay. Do you think I'm choosing them over you? Well, how can I compete with the Big Five? The Palace of the Lost City? I'm not going for the sights. I'm going to see my mum and dad. Mm -hmm. Well, make sure you phone and write and send me emails at least ten times every day. Are you going to be OK? Me? It's you I'm worried about, stuck in a foreign country with our mum. Come here. Mwah. Bye, Fizz. Bye. Baldies. Oh, ten boxes. I cleaned them out. Good lad. <laughs> now, let's have a proper look at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very handsome. Hiya, son. Hiya, son. Enjoy your flight? Great, thanks. So, where's Les? How do Chesney, lad? <laughs> I asked her to teach me a traditional English greeting. <laughs> He's not Les. Yeah, he is. Come to South Africa and hang out with me and Les. That's what you said. I suppose when you put it like that, yeah, it's an easy mistake to make. <sighs> oh, well, no harm done. <laughs> this is me new Les. Lise di Mushapamwe. Pretty damn monkey too, don't you think? <laughs> Have I it, Jack, but I want. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! So where's my dad? I don't know. Touring Azerbaijan with Gypsy Creams last I heard. So you haven't got back together? We've both moved on. I can't live like a nun. We're separated by three continents. Oh, do us a favour. Don't talk about my ex in front of my new boyfriend. This was supposed to be the family getting back together. Funny you should mention families. Because I've got some very exciting news for you on that front. More exciting than the fact you've swapped Leses. Much more exciting. <laughs> I'm talking riches beyond your wildest dreams. Now, come on, get in car. <laughs> I'll be chocolate Gary Boulders in your hand luggage. So, are you like a real-life warrior? Do you hunt wild animals with a spear? No way. I work in the centre for South African tribal history. This is my uniform. Oh, nice one. Right, let's go!
you're going to love this country, Ches. It's miles better than stinky old England. What are we doing here? It's can-do attitude, I admire. <laughs> they don't look down on people for grabbing what you can. Is this one of your scams? Oh, it isn't, is it? It's dead modern, fun, fast. <laughs> First thing we're going to do if we win this competition is buy a new car. What competition? I think you should explain. I'll fix the car. OK. Here goes. Three months ago, I was humble cocktail waitress in Vegas. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. I were damn good at my job. <laughs> so good, they named a cocktail after me. No way. Yeah. One margarita, one Singapore sling, and a poisonous evil witch. One night, I got chatting with this fella. Oh, that's nothing new. <laughs> you, fix car. He offered me a job, but it wasn't in Vegas. It were here in Sun City. So I jumped on a plane, and here I am. First day of my new job, who should wander over to the table? Lovely Lizetti. Did he win any money? No. But he hit jackpot in other ways. Isn't that right, Liz? <sighs> yes, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> Will you put him down and get on with it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was coming out of work one day when I saw a poster. It were an advert to find Sunshine Family of South Africa. <laughs> a worldwide search for the perfect family. Not us, I hope. With a grand prize of, wait for it, half a million dollars. Well, you haven't got a family. He's not me dad. He's your bit on the side. And what do you think the old letters up to? We all them groupies. <sighs> we live 5,000 miles away. You haven't bothered with any of us since you left. Well, it's a good job I didn't get you to fill in the application form then, isn't it? Oh, no. You didn't. Half a million dollars? <laughs> You're damn right I did. <laughs> and once I'd fibbed about my interracial marriage, well, I got a bit carried away. Oh. They get thousands of entries. I had to come up with something that'd make us stand out. What did you put? I said you and Kirk here are my tragically disabled sons who I'm devoted to. You dragged Kirk into it? I said he has the mental age of an eight-year-old. It's all right, Kirky. Just be yourself. OK. What do you mean, OK? You can't go along with all this. If it'll help sell win a load of money, sounds like a laugh. It's a lie. We're not brothers. We're like brothers, though. You can't do this. It'll never work. How do you know? Bro. <laughs> Don't call me bro. Nobody is going to believe a word of this. Well, that's where you're wrong. Because we've already made it to the final. The final? We're one of three families who's going to seven nights, all expenses paid holiday, in <sighs> Sun City! Way! Bring it on! <laughs> Hang on a minute. Tragically disabled sons, you said. So what's supposed to be wrong with me, then? I was just coming to that. You stay in this chair and you don't use your legs till we're alone. I'm not doing it, no way. It's wrong. Whoa! Look at that! I don't like it. I want to go home. This is your home now? Well, but next week anyway. I have a luxury family suite for you on the 17th floor. <gasps> oh, hear that? Luxury suite. <laughs> Not just ordinary suite like Riff Raff get. Luxury. <laughs> Ta. <laughs> Come on, Chess. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm here to check in, please, sweetheart. Your name? <laughs> That's very nice. I like that. What's the name? <laughs> very good. It's me. As in Alfie in the afternoon, seen by 4.7 million Africans a week. 
No? No. Not, not, not to mention countless commercials, endorsements, personal appearances? Yeah, well, clearly before your time, sweetheart. <coughs> Elfie, flock, flock. Oh, yes, I think I have a deluxe room for you on the fifth floor. L look, my agent requested a suite. I'm here to compare the Sunshine Family of the Year competition. Uh, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, I would think so. You have a standard room. <clears throat> Could I speak to the manager, please? Of course, sir. I have a Mr. Flop here to speak to you. Give me, give me. Look, I, I'm not one of those celebs who tries to get himself bumped up everywhere he goes, but this is... Flock. Flock. V. L. O. K. Nice. We've got our own corridor. <laughs> What do you reckon, Chess? It's horrible. I hate it. And I'm not going anywhere else in that wheelchair. It's sick and it's wrong. Oh, it's amazing. How is it wrong for a mother to try to give her children best of everything? You try to obtain money through reception. How else are I meant to obtain it? Rob a bank? You're just using us. Says it's me. What a let down. Les isn't here. It's all a big con. Wish I'd never come. Luke. Valiant waves. I don't like it. Yeah. I hate the sun. Talk to me, Chesney. What? I am your mother. And we haven't seen each other in a little while. Once in the past year. Don't I fly? <sighs> if you spend your life cooking up scams to avoid getting a job. So come on. I want you to tell me how you've been. OK, I suppose. Apart from when I got taken into care. What does this mean, into care? It's like a special adventure holiday for kids. 
I was neglected. Neglected? By your sister, not just me. Whatever. Can I go to my room now? Of course you can, sweetheart. The judges want us to get some footage and interviews with each of the families. It's not in my contract. Listen, it's not going to take long. Look, if you want me to do extra stuff, go and speak to my agent. <laughs> well, your agent says you'll do anything for a large vodka. I'll do anything for a larger room. Deal. Where did it all go wrong, eh? Really? Eight years in the wilderness. But you don't really want me to answer that. Hey. I mean, it is a well-documented and extremely sordid tale. Yeah, don't believe everything that you read in the tabloids. Really? Even if it is My Drugs Hell by Alfie Flock? Oh, yeah. Well, they paid me a lot more for that than they paid me for this, I can tell you. Look, are we actually going to shoot this stuff or not? Oh, I suppose so. OK. Who's first? Um, let's see. It's, uh... The Battersby's. They're a mixed-race family. Let's try and surprise them. Yeah. How big's your room? No, he's exaggerating. He loves it here. I'm his mother and I know what's best for him. Now get back to your knicker stitching. What have you been saying to your sister? The truth. What? That I've flown you over here and forced you to stop in a five-star hotel? Only because you have ulterior motives. Most kids would be thrilled at chance of an holiday like this. <laughs> Not you. I thought you wanted to see me. I did. I do. Don't lie. If it wasn't for this stupid competition, you'd have never got in touch. I deserve a decent room. I mean, if they Googled me, they'd know how much in demand I was. If they Googled you, they'd know you served an 18-month sentence for tax evasion. I'm trying to help us all get rich. It's always money with you. You're obsessed. I know you hate me for leaving, but I'm only ever a phone call away. What good's that when I'm in the school play or when I'm being picked on by bullies? I know. And I feel awful that I'm missing out on seeing you grow up. But I can't change who I am. Oh, come on, Alfie. Get it together. Whew. Right. Ready? Yep. Roll camera. I hate it here. I hate you. I hate the new lace. I want to go home. Well, go home then! Oh, flaming kids, they want drowning at birth. Hi, welcome to Sun City, Silla. How are you feeling? Who the hell are you? Cut! I'm Alfie Flock. Come again. Does no one round here own a TV? Is this a suite? Jeez, it's the size of a soccer pitch. <laughs> I know you. Hi. You are from that insurance commission. And before that, ten series of my own chat show. Flock, flock, who's there? Oh, yeah. Then the little cartoon car came on the screen. That's the nearest I'm going to get to a fan around here. <laughs> Look, um, we're here to shoot some footage. Footage? Yeah, you know, video of you and your family for the judges. We want to try and catch those special little moments that make you and your family who you are. Um, where is uh, Kirk, is it? He's chilling by a pool. Ah. Um, and the little guy in the wheelchair, uh, Chesney. Oh, he's a bit camera shy. Oh, rubbish. We want to see him. Where is he? Yes! There's someone here to see ya! All right. Roll, roll, roll. Chesney, welcome to South Africa. Hi, everybody. How do you feel about making it to the final three in the biggest competition in Africa? I'm dead excited. Great, terrific. Cut, print, scene. Bar. We'll see you all at the uh, launch tomorrow. Oh, OK. 
Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I knew you could do it, you little belter. You don't know what I want in return yet. If it's more than half prize money, you can forget it. I've got a future to think about. I don't care about the money. You can stick the money. Good. I will. I'll only hope you win. If you come home afterwards. What? After the competition. We go back to Weatherfield. And live like a normal family. No more running off. You look after me and you stay put. Deal? Do you want me to? Deal? No, I'd like more. Pity they never got that on camera. <laughs> Give me! Priority! Give me! Stop using my chair like it's a bumper car. We're finalists for shopping it front. Where's your daddy brother? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage your host, Alfie Love. Yeah. Thank you! Thank you, you're very kind. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. This year, we had a staggering 50,000 entries from over 30 different countries worldwide. But that has all now been whittled down to just three families. I have had the privilege of meeting all of them. And let me tell you, all three are worthy of the title Sunshine Family of South Africa and the grand prize of $500,000. It's all going to charity if we win. Thank you, Tallulah. But that's enough for me. It's time to meet the families. Starting off with the family Battersby. <laughs> For Mum Silla, Stepdad Mercedes, sons Chesney Kirk and sister. Ah, here they are. Now, as you can see, Chesney here is in a wheelchair. But that wasn't always the case, was it, Silla? No. He lost the use of his legs in a freak earthquake back home in England. Didn't he? Now, the judges were profoundly moved by your account of how you crawled through the rubble to rescue him. I only did what any mother would do. But your joy at having saved his life was cut short when you found out he would never walk again. Your other son is also tragically disabled. <laughs> Let's say hello to Kirk. Hiya, from Manchester. And last but not least, please, put your hands together for Stepdad Lucetti, South African-born. <laughs> you and Scylla found love across the racial divide. When I saw her femme backside, that was it. I knew we belonged together. <laughs> I'll give him a round of applause. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Jones family. Thank you. We have Devon, Tashney, and I'm really going to have to concentrate hard on this one, I can tell you. Clint, Lucky, Desmond, Bussy, Tabo, Ross, Andre, Ilias, Christian, Brendan, and Caesar. Is that 11? So she's never had a birth control. What's great about that? Shh, don't talk that way. Never mind half a million dollars. She once achieves nothing. Stop it. <laughs> If that's competition, we might as well start spending money. <laughs> we'll walk it. Last but not least, and they have walked over 1,000 kilometers across the Namibian desert in aid of leukemia research. Let's hear it for the family Teal from Bloemfontein.
There we go. So, how are you guys feeling? Yeah, great, terrific, thanks. Oh, we, uh, we trained pretty hard for the walk, so we have a few blisters. But nothing that a long soak in a hot bath can't fix. <laughs> I think she means an ice bath. Oh, come on, it's an incredible achievement, come on. Yes. But tell me now, there must have been time when, when you wondered if you would make it. Once, yeah. Yeah, we hit a sandstorm in the middle of the desert. She couldn't see her hand in front of her faces, but uh, Ellie reached into her backpack. I thought she was going to bring up the sap phone so we could call for help. But it was her violin. Oh, right, she's a virtuoso. Yeah, she started to play when the going gets tough, tough get going. Pammy and I just started to sing along as we walked. We covered 10 Ks over target that day. That is incredible. She's an incredible girl. Yeah, but more than that, she's our little girl. It's got a 10 megabyte memory, which is uh, nearly enough to record all their birthdays. Oh, brilliant. I'm sorry, but I refuse to eat with them as well. Come on, Alfie. No. It's free. Well, let me put it that way. For yourself a really? No, thanks. Not for us. We don't drink. Keep it away. <laughs> let me help you. What can I get you? Okay? Yeah. It looks nice. Ugh. All that sugar and fat. You want a diet? No, I just make sure I get the correct amount of each food group every day. Fruit, protein, carbs, vitamin A, D and C. Oh, if I just walked 650 miles, I think I'd eat what I felt like. Go on, have a bit of cake. Maybe I'll just stand here and watch you eat yours. Oh, I noticed that when you uh, came up on stage, there was one missing. Where is Sister Fiona? Sister Fiona? Your daughter who works at the orphanage teaching the children how to sing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's very devout. Not really five-star hotel and casino type. <laughs> this food looks good. Pity. I mean, it's your call, of course, but it would enhance your position if she made an appearance. You are up against some serious competition, remember? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food. Whoa, you're a hawking fan? Sure. Oh, he's my all-time hero wheelchair user. Whoa, watch it. Put that down. We've got a competition to win. A couple of beers won't do any harm. We're under 24 hour surveillance. We've got to be squeaky clean. Bitching with me in public isn't going to help. Right. So let's go somewhere private to do it. Stay here. Time for bed, my darling. But I haven't finished my dinner. <laughs> Come on, you two. You're letting side down. I'm just trying to be myself. You're not here to be yourself. You're here to win. Hold on. Do a security sweep. What? Check Alfie and his pal aren't hiding in a cupboard ready to jump out. You go upstairs. I'll check bedrooms. Well, I'm having a great time. I hated every minute of it. Look well, like you were getting on with that girl. We were only talking. Get away. You fool, mate. I saw that. I don't want you fraternising with the enemy. She's not the enemy. All clear. Anyway, she only talked to me because she felt sorry for me. And she only feels sorry for you because it makes her look good. Care in the community. How do you know? Trust me. That girl is playing a very clever game. They all are. Blimey. It's like the big brother house. I hate lying. I mean, I can't believe I told her Stephen Hawking is my all-time hero wheelchair user. <sighs> What's use? We don't stand a chance anyway. Especially not against the perfect flaming teal family. Do you think they'll win? Oh, it's obvious. Who's going to look better on posters, eh? They are too perfect. We are a real family. Because we keep arguing, you mean? If we blow this, it is your fault. Why did you say you had a daughter? She has got a daughter. Is she a nun? You say Biz was a nun? I did ten different versions of that form before I sent it in. I can't remember every tiny detail. <sighs> OK, I admit it. 
I've blown it. We're stuffed and it's all my fault. You happy now? I'm going for a proper drink. Boozing again? Not here. I'm going to a real bar where I can relax with my friends. A real bar? Oh, I like the sound of that. If it means the Shabin, it's dead grotty. Can we all go? A bottle of lager and a packet of zebra scratches, please, Betty. It really is called Betty. It's just like the Rovers, only better. Do they really sell zebra scratches? Built on. It's dried meat. Close my eyes and all I can see is that big fat check. Close them again. Imagine you are walking along the beach with the sea lapping around your toes. No, I can still see it, check. I give up. You have a lovely boy, a handsome lover. Get you? Why can't you just be happy? Instead, you chase around the world trying to make a fast buck. You don't need a half a million dollars. You have everything you could ever want. You're right. Maybe it's time I got real. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Let's just enjoy the holiday. Mm -hmm. Tell with mummy. She okay? I think maybe she's sad. She knows it is time to change her life. Hang on a minute. What am I saying? Get real. I'm a Battersby. We don't roll over, we fight. It's time to play our trump card. Hi, Fizz, it's me. <laughs> I'm afraid I've got some terrible news. It's the itinerary for the rest of the week. We've got tomorrow at our leisure and the day after. There's a talent competition. Bring it on. <laughs> we'll blow them away. Can any of us sing? No. Play a musical instrument? No. I can do keep me a piece. How long for? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Get every one of their faces, please. Oh, yeah. Come along. That's the way. Over there. Off you go. What's going on? The Jones family have been disqualified. No. Yes. Turns out the kids are not adopted at all. They borrowed them from some under nine football club. They were cheating. Can you believe it? Look, look I, I can't talk now. Tashney is about to have a complete meltdown, and I want to make sure that we catch it on camera. But, but hey, it's a straight fight now between you and the Teals. <laughs> well, I think you two are thoroughly ashamed of yourselves. What does it feel like to be caught as cheats? Come to the animal park with me? Yeah. Let me just check with my mum first. Mum, you don't mind if I hang out with Ellie, do you? Thanks, Mum. See you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is there no possibility that you'll ever walk again? I try to stay hopeful. Do you mind me talking about it? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Spending time with me. When you could be practicing your violin or climbing a mountain. I like hanging out with you. Because it makes you look good. What? That's a horrible thing to say. What? We're competitors. You can't just expect everything to be normal. I came out here to get away from all the pressure of being part of a perfect family. I'm sorry.
I know what you mean. Sometimes it feels like a big act. Last month, we were in Toronto for a competition. And before that, it was Sydney. Oh, I just feel like a performing chimp sometimes. My dad's always having a go at me. But... What were you going to say? Nothing. Never mind. Let's talk about something else. Quantum mechanics? <laughs> crisps and watching telly were a talent. We clean up. Where have you been? I oh, were worried sick. We went to the park. Take a chill pill. I will find. Well, <laughs> thanks for bringing him back. <laughs> thanks. I had a really nice time. Me too. I'll see you at the <laughs> talent contest. Yeah. What have I told you? We had a nice time. Most funny had since I got here. She's not interested in you. What good's a little ginger not in a wheelchair to her? She's part at Master Race. She's dead nice. And she hates this stupid competition just as much as I do. Why? What she said? Nothing. But I can tell. Right. From now on, you spend as much time as you can with you. But you just... I knew they were too good to be true. <laughs> and now... I've got my very own little James Bond on wheels to find out what skeletons they've got in the cupboard. What are you talking about? Spy on them, dig the dirt, and report back 007. <sighs> Don't you know any traditional African dancing? That'll go down well. I can moonwalk. Maybe we should just accept that we're not going to win and be dead gracious in defeat. Good thinking. I like it. Is that Fizz? Just till the end of the week. Oh. oh. Thank Christ for that. Shh. Stop cursing. You're meant to be a woman at church. What? Why don't we all go up to that room and talk? Just tell me what's going on. And who's he? This is me dad. <laughs> Competition? What sort of competition? We're finalists to find the Sunshine family of South Africa. No way. Meet the batters, Biz. <laughs> I'm Mum. <laughs> I'm Dad. I'm the oldest son, Kirk. And I'm the youngest son, Chesney. Wheels are just to get sympathy vote. What? I don't really need this. It's just a prop. This is gross. I have been tearing my hair out with worry. She rang me up. She said you'd been in an accident. I had to say something to get you over here. So I played on your biggest fear. I have just spent my entire life savings on a plane ticket. You'd be flying back business class if we pull this off. This is a bad dream. Oh, it's a dream, all right. <laughs> and if it comes true, we stand to make half a million big ones. But more importantly, if we win, we're all going home together to be a proper family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that and all. And now you're here, you can help us. Help? They've been asking where my sister what? is. What? No, no way. I want nothing to do with this. It's sick. Oh, please, Fizz. You're here now anyway. You don't have to do very much. Just hang out with us. Be part of our happy, loving family. But he is my ex-boyfriend, not my brother. And I've never met him before in my life. He's called Les. Oh, well, that helps a bit. Please, Fizz. Do it for me. If we win, we'll be a proper family again. You know I wouldn't ask you otherwise. I can't believe you're doing this. I'm very disappointed in you. If it means I get my mum back. OK, I'll do the bare minimum. 
Nice one, sis. Fantastic. You'll be brilliant. Well, I'll have to be good to convince anybody that I'm your loving daughter. Oh, yeah. And there is one other thing. What? I feel like a right pillock. You're not. You're a wonderful person who's devoted her life to God and disadvantaged children. Oh, half true, I suppose. It's the bloody thing itches like mad. Ah! No more cursing or bad language, remember? I'll try. Can you sing? Ave Maria. You left someone's eye out if you're not careful. Yeah, yours. I'm not spying on him, you can forget it. You want me to come home with you? Yes. Well, that means we've got to win. <laughs> anyway, you like hanging out with you. <laughs> but if you do see out dodgy, get it on tape. Are you all right? <clears throat> Fine, yeah. You don't look it. Can I come in? There's something wrong, I know there is. I'm fine, okay? I just get really annoyed when I let myself down. How did you let yourself down? You were brilliant. But I want to be the best. You are the best. You're beautiful. Clever. And dead talented. I know. It's my mum and dad. They'll go mad if they find you here. I thought I told you to practice. I was. I, I am. You brought shame on this family. I only hit two dove notes. And it's Paganini. It sounded like a strangled cat. Don't be so hard on her. And don't you tell me how to speak to my own daughter. We need this competition. We owe at least half the prize money to the plastic surgeon. You're the one who said I had saggy boobs and a hooked nose. Am I the only one in this family who believes in striving for perfection? You. Play. Play. No way! I've spent long enough in this thing as it is! People travel thousands of miles to go on safari! I can't believe you're turning your nose up! I hate snakes! I hate spiders! I hate all types of creepy crawlers! What about elephants and lions? Seeing them on telly, that'll do me! There's no comparison between telly and seeing them in wild by a water all at sunrise! I'm sure the child the world pulled back back here! But they've laid it all on! Two nights in the African bush! It's 40 degrees out there! That's hotter than the wash me smalls in! <sighs> Well, keep your head down. Remember, we're being watched. See ya. Can you believe hotels laid on a safari and misery guts there won't come? She do not have to go if she do not want to. How to get with Snelly Ellie? OK. Come on, dish dirt. There is none. He's blushing. No, I'm not. I told you. She do not fancy you. She's just using you. Hello, hi, it's Sophie. Get in the chair. 
Hiya. Hi. Hi. Hi, thanks. I just brought all the vouchers for your safari. You head out at dawn tomorrow. On foot? Uh, no, um, we're going in Land Rovers. It's about a two-hour drive to Buffalo Ridge. Buffalo Ridge? Whoa. Do we need guns? Uh, no, we're trying to preserve the wildlife, not shoot it. Unless they're chasing you. And then you shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Sister Fiona won't be coming with us. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm, she's just heard one of the other nuns at the orphanage has died. Oh. And she needs to pray and fast. Really fast. Should you really be doing this? Hit me. Oh, bust. Oh, look. A nun. Oh, I'll get a touch of good luck. Excuse me, love. Can I touch you for good luck, please? Gaga. Oh, feisty nun. Double the luck. Oh, I can feel the good luck already. Look, will oh. you let go? Oh, I was almost there. Is there a problem here? Huh? Oh. No problem. <clears throat> What the hell kind of a nun are you? Oh, I was just touching it for good luck. You know? yeah, it works. You could have broken your nose. The last time I touched a nun. Do that. Let's see if you can stick to it. You okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine. You get that a lot? Not really. I can let you into a little secret. I don't know. My manager asked if I could move you from the table. He was worried you're putting the other punters off. But you know what I told him? Uh, what? It's a free world. Let the nun play. All right. Actually, um, I'd better get going. No, there's no need. You can play as long as you like. No, no, really, I shouldn't be here. I should go. Hey, little guy. I bet you've never seen wild animals before. Well, I've seen my mum in the morning. She's pretty wild. <laughs> I love this kid. I mean, he's so funny. And so very brave. Tell me, Chessie, this, this safari is the... Well, it's the trip of a lifetime, really. What are you looking forward to the most? I don't know. Well, well there must be something special you'd like to see. <laughs> Actually, there is something I'd like to see. Yeah, and what is that? Well, my mum is so fantastic. The woman is a saint. I'd love it if she could realise a dream. And tell us, Jesse, what is Scylla's dream? To swim with crocodiles. You, you, you mean dolphins? No. Crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> You're one foxy man. Oh, um, can I tell you something? Step into my office. I'm not a real nun. I'm listening. I'm part of this sunshine family thing. My mum lied on the farm, said I was a nun working in an orphanage. And I just kind of got roped in. <laughs> I see. You're not going to dab me in. What's that? Oh, are you going to tell anyone? Oh, yeah. Well, that's not the worst crime I've heard of. Where are you going? Uh, don't know. I've been stuck inside for days. I thought I just might explore. Sorry. Can't let you do that. All oh, right, yeah. Go back upstairs. But if you wait here for five minutes while I slip out of my disguise, I can show you the sights. Um, yeah. Why not? Tell you what, that seat's got sat. She asked for it. Scylla! Scylla! How does it feel to be living your dream? How did you know this is my dream? Don't get angry! Chesney told us and we made it happen! Chesney? No, no, Scylla, I mean it! Don't get angry! It makes them hungry! Hey, Bob! A dream come true!
<laughs> Do you know how sometimes people's hair turns white when something scary happens to them? Well, I reckon them crocodiles have scared your tan away. Keep still. I'll get chess for this. Show us your sunshine smile, Silla. <laughs> roll, roll, camera, roll. Oh, dear. Oh, Silla, that was fantastic. You really are a great sport. And tomorrow's going to be more of the same. What? Oh, yeah. I mean, this place is chock-a-block with killer animals. Rhino, elephant, lion, hippo, all wandering around in the open as nature intended. Great! <laughs> cool! <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I think that tonight you should try and get a really early night, OK? Because wild animals get up really early in the morning. Brilliant! Get off me! <laughs> 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 this is fantastic. All part of the service. Why are you doing this? Doing what? I do this for everybody. I'm not a bad person, you know. I mean, dressing up as a nun, I wouldn't normally do anything like that. I know. No, I don't think you do. Everyone wants to be someone else sometimes. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a nun. <laughs> Glad to hear that. I just want... I don't know what I want. I want things to be simple. I want things to be what they say on the packet. Are you like that? Sometimes. I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe not. But you are here. So you might as well admire the scenery. Welcome. Come on. If I've caught out off that swamp, I'll sue. Drink some lager. It kills swamp ticks. I itch everywhere. <laughs> Spring. <laughs> That's terrible. I've never felt more stupid. My brother and my fiance have been having an affair for three months. You came here to get married. I even paid for the trip. I saved up the whole year. They say it started out as a stupid fling, but it's so beautiful here in this sunshine paradise, they ended up falling in love. That is unforgivable. You would think. No, that is unforgivable. If that were me, I would hunt them down like dogs and strangle the life out of both of them. I did consider it. But you have to let that stuff go. You can't keep all that anger inside you. It clogs your tubes and tangles your whatnots. It's a medically accepted fact. <laughs> so have you um, untangled your whatnots? It was three years ago. I stayed here and made a new life. Totally untangled. Still, what a cow, eh? You should just be grateful nothing as mad as that ever happened to you. Funny you should say that. What's your favourite animal? Schmeichel. Do you think they have dogs here? I don't know. What about dingoes? That's Australia. Oh. What did they have over here, then? I don't know. You know, they say... a dog's bark is worse than its bite. Yeah. Do you reckon it's the same with lions? This is nice. I'm so glad I punched that bloke at the blackjack table. <laughs> Me too. I like you. I like you too. Are you hungry? Not really. Tired? What time is it? About 2 a.m. Oh my god! I was worried around midnight you might turn back into a nun, but instead of past, <laughs> I kind of relaxed. 
It doesn't matter, actually. My family are on safari, so I can stay up as late as I like. <laughs> you know they say, life's short? Yeah. And sometimes you only get one chance. So you should always make the most of any opportunity, cos it might never come around again. Yeah? Well, I've never been to South Africa before, and I've never been in a posh hotel before. I'm trying to find the right words to tell a bloke that I want him to come back to my room that don't make me sound like a tart. <laughs> What floor is your room on? The 17th. We can do better. Give me a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you seen the bathroom? The chandelier? Amazing. <laughs> Never kissed a man before. <laughs> like it? Mm. Oh, yes. Good, because there's lots more coming your way. Thanks. I've got it stuck on the winter sports setting. We don't get much snow here. Let me see. Do you know about cameras? Uh, more than you, it seems. Ah, uh, there. Oh, cheers. The real dad's good at cameras. He had his own dark room in the loft. My mum said he's always up there fiddling about. <laughs> Try to remember for the next few days, I'm your father. You are my father. Think of it as Luke Skywalker finding out Darth Vader is his real dad. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Hey, chess can be R2-D2, and so can be Chewbacca. Don't disrespect your mother. Sorry. Darth. Can I call you Darth? It's Dad. Or Mr. Vader. Huh? <laughs> I wish I could come with your family. What, you sneak in our picnic box? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think my mum and dad would notice. <laughs> then again, <laughs> maybe not. I'm sure they'd miss you. I'm sure they'd love you to bits. Maybe they're just not very good at showing it. I want your family to win this competition. And maybe our family can stop trying to be so perfect all the time. Just enjoy being who we are. Yeah. Me too. Fingers crossed. surprises for me today? Do I dream of running with tigers or wrestling with snakes? No. And we're just mates. Come again. Me and Ellie, we're just mates. Mm. Just don't forget, we're in it to win it. <sighs> is your, uh, is your tent on suite? Who the hell has an unsweet teepee? I've got a bidet. A hole in the ground. I once had afternoon tea with Nelson Mandela on my own chat show. They give me a hole in the ground.
Morning. Morning. Hello? Yeah? Okay, no problem. We gotta go. What? No champagne breakfast? No croissants? No exotic fruit salad and freshly squeezed orange juice? Where are you going? There are guests downstairs waiting for the room. So we really have to go? I should have been at work 20 minutes ago. Uh, can you find your way to your room? Um, yeah. Okay. Black? Oh. If I grabbed all those chips and ran away, would you call security? Yes, I would. Well, you better call them then, because that's exactly what I think I'm going to do. You think you're going to do it? Oh, I'm on the edge, me. Better call security now. Ask for Alex. Ah, uh, you must be Fizz. Must I? Look, I'd like to call him, but... But what? I'll steal your chips. I wouldn't advise that, madam. I'm worried. Gambling can very easily become a bad habit. Hey, how much trouble does a girl have to cause around here to get arrested? I get off in an hour if you want to. Yeah. Anything. OK. Watch her. She cheats. <laughs> I don't. Really. <laughs> This clothes. Honestly, this clothes. Oh, we could have touch line cups. And, and the hippos. Oh, they were so cute. Oh, the hippos. They were bathing in the water hole. It was almost as if they were putting on a display just for us. And, and the giraffes. A family of giraffes sharing leaves off a tree. Oh, oh, it was quite moving. What did you see? A chicken. A chicken? One dusty chicken. They said they'd never had such bad luck on a game drive. It was almost as if the animals could smell us coming and ran off to hide. I've heard that can happen. Oh, I got a picture of the chicken. You can see his leg as he was running away, but he moved pretty quick. That really is a shame. You guys really have had bad luck. You know, they, they said they had a pride of lion not 200 metres from the camp. Yeah. No, over there, to the west. Oh, don't worry, Kirk, you can have a look at my pictures. I must have taken a million. Where are we going? I'm not flying halfway around the world just to see a chicken. Half we said there's lions out here. I'd like to see a lion. I'd like a shower and a deep tissue massage, but we don't always get what we want. Think of Chesney. Poor lad stuck in a wheelchair his whole life. And all he ever wanted is to see some wild animals. Kirk, it's pretend. I can walk, really. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> don't confuse him. You got it right first time, Kirky. And don't forget, he's your brother. Oh, come on, get across quick. Uh, 
and I'm your father. And frankly, I wish you put your foot down sometimes. You let our kids get away with murder. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, good news. <laughs> I got an upgrade. A duplex tent with a sitting area and a Wi-Fi. Ah. <laughs> we think we may have lost the Battersby's. You what? They were last seen wandering into the bush. Well, you told them there were lions out there. I thought a guide. I'd give them an hour. An hour before what? Before they get eaten or poisoned or trampled to death. There are hundreds of ways to die in the bush. Oh, this is just brilliant. Are you sure? I'll check their tent again. And Rick, make sure that they have signed their legal disclaimer, all right? I am not going to be sued for the accidental death of game show contestants again. Have you got? The last one. Oh, cheers, mate. Hmm. It's important to stay hydrated in the bush. We've been out here ages. All oh, animals have gone home. Shh. You frighten them away. Tidied up. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, beer or wine? Um, beer, please. Can you get the script? Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. And I don't mind if you're completely honest. In fact, I want you to be completely honest. I'm doing my best. Do you think last night was... Well, was it, you know, just one night and then never see each other again? It's weird living here, is it? Sometimes you don't know what's real. And, and I won't lie to you, I've been to the penthouse before. Well, I'm not exactly Snow White myself. <laughs> yeah, last night... To be honest, I haven't stopped thinking about you since I first set eyes on you. <laughs> Is it not? I know it sounds weird, but honestly, it's not. <laughs> it's fine. You look good in your uniform. I think I can see the woman behind the habit. Do you know what? I have blamed my mum for a lot of stuff in my life. If she wasn't a money-grabbing, scheming, self-centred cow, I might never have met you. Shouldn't we be organising a search party or something? Too dangerous. What? It's dark. We lost a family back in 96. I led a search party and we lost the whole family. And two of the search party. And by lost, you mean? Dead. No. This had to happen to me, didn't it? I mean, <laughs> there goes the big comeback. Do you have any idea the kind of effect a dead family has on a media career? <sighs> I don't have to look too pleased when I tell you this, but it seems like the baddest bees may have been eaten by lions. I thought you said it were this way! We're lost. We're not lost. Hey, tire tracks. Someone else must be out here in a wheelchair too. Damn my traction, numpty. They've been going round in circles. No, we've not. All right. Stop bickering. Let's tell them. Stop bickering. What was that? Animals. Well, we are on safari. Oh, 
were lost. Brilliant. Somewhere there. It might be snakes. Hey! It could be the lions. No, lions make more noise. <laughs> This is scary. Look at me, I'm supping lager and eating a cheese sarnie in front of the telly. So? So, I could be at home. I've come halfway around the world to do exactly what I do in my own house. Except with you. So Africa has some attractions? Oh yeah, at least one. Stay. Of course I'll stay. Forever. Hey? I did it. I came out here and never went back. You could have a life here, a good life. With you? Does that sound so bad? How many of them have you had? Look, you asked if last night was it. Just one great night, then nothing. What if last night was the beginning of the rest of our lives? I, I know it sounds like a cheesy poster, but I'm serious. You could stay here. You could work here, you could live here. Yeah, but... But what? I have a life at home. It's a life. A better life? A happier life? Oh, no, now this is doing my head in. You've got me seriously thinking about upping sticks and emigrating to Africa. I can't. I can't. I have to look after Chesney. Chesney? He's my brother. He needs me. Although... Although... What? Well, my mum says that if they win the competition, she'll come home and look after him. And to be fair, right, she's not got much of a track record of keeping her promises, but this time might book the trend. So if you become the Sunshine family, then you could stay. And we could do this every night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! Oh, run very fast. We all run fast when there's a lion chasing us. They should have that in the Olympics. 100 metres being chased by a lion. I bet that'd be a world record. Will you two stop whittering? We're lost and surrounded by dangerous animals. We're all gonna die out here. Shh! Nobody move. <laughs> It's a snake. Where's Big Blowick gone when you need him? I think it's a python. It could be a rattlesnake or a spitting cobra. But it only attacks if it feels threatened. <laughs> We're not going to threaten it, are we? <laughs> We're coming in peace. Oh. oh, what does it do when it attacks? It spits deadly venom. It aims for the white of the eyes. Oh. 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 Come on. Okay, I've had enough now. Let's get back to camp. Yeah. Let's do your stuff. What stuff? You know, use your tribal bush skills and get us home. I've never been in the bush before. Never seen a lion until today. But you know about snakes. <laughs> I read about them in a book. Oh, but it must be in your genes or something. Try and tap into your ancestral roots, the skills of your forefathers. Oh. Myths and legends of your rich African history and tell us which way to go. No idea. Or I'll do it. You'll do what? I'll lead us to safety. Oh, as if. I might not be the brightest button in the toolbox, but I've got a good sense of direction. Right. There's Venus, so that way is east, and we go this way. Let him go. Lions can have him. <laughs> There's not much meat on him, but it'll distract him for a few minutes. I'm going with Kurt. Uh, who's in charge of this family? <laughs> Me too. Of course, it's a pretty big if. You don't know my family. What am I saying? We're not a family, we're fakes. 
We don't stand a chance. Yeah, I know it's nice here, but... What if you came home with me? I'm sure you could get a job. I... I can't leave the country. How's those thing is calm? If, if I even apply for a passport, they'll arrest me and I'll go to jail. Oh, right. I knew it. Soon as I get the merest glimpse of happiness, this big old lump of iron with one ton written on it falls from the sky. No, I... You did it! You strangled your brother and your fiancé because they cheated on you. I'm sleeping with a murderer. No, I was in the army when I came to get married and I didn't go back. I didn't tell them. No. Oh. Well, it's that bad. It's not good. I've been absent without leave for over three years. If they find me, I'll face a court-martial in time inside. Oh, but it was an emotional time for you. I think they'd expect me to get over it by now. <laughs> Do you know what? I want you. And I want to live here. And I want Chesney and my mum to get what they want and all. We? are going to win this competition. Cheers. Cheers. Hang on. Uh, I can smell someone. What is it? It's hard tea. It's hard tea. I smelled it ten minutes ago. It's a camp. That way. Uh, no, wait! Chesney's walking. He can't walk. I don't want Kurt being a hero. Right. Les, you carry Chesney and lead the way. Yeah, but Kirk saved us. Do you want to win this competition and live happily ever after or not? Yeah. But... Then trust me. Les is your dad. And he saved his family after your daft as a brush brother stupidly led us into danger. No offence, Kirk. I'm taken. Right. Let's make a grand entrance. Remember, Les saved us. We nearly got eaten by lions. Yes. Yeah. You all right, Chet? Yeah. What was that? What was what? I, I, I heard something rustling in the bush. Eric, over here! What is it? And he heard something in the bush. Stand back, stand back. It could be a lion. A rogue male separated from the pack. It's eating the baddest beast and now it's coming for us. Yes, stand in front of me, roll camera, and, and, and if it comes for me, I insist that you film it. I'll try and keep the commentary going for as long as possible. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Not the ring, idiot! Chesney! Where were you when we needed you? My God, what happened? We heard what you said about lions and went off to see them. But... Then we got lost and couldn't find a way back to camp. You never leave camp without a guide. I know, but my Les saved us. <laughs> we were attacked by lions and snakes. So we grabbed Chesney and we ran for our lives. Then he used his ancient tribal skills to lead us to safety. That's incredible. What an incredible story. That's fantastic. When danger and adversity come to call, we just smile and carry on. You are all so very brave. You must have been terrified. Yeah, but we stuck together. Uh, worked as a team. Uh, worked as a family. Incredible. That boy's shoes are so filthy. Silla, <laughs> Silla, how did that compare to the Crocs? Was it just about as exciting? We were really worried about you. Oh, no need. My mum never misses a tea. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad you're all right. Were you really scared? <laughs> Too right I was. Your dad was pretty great. Yeah. 
My brother were pretty good too. And cut. You must be really hungry. No, like a brush with death to fire up the appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Alfie. Yes. What can I call you, Alf? <laughs> <laughs> How do you rate your chances? Well, I'll be honest with you, Sella. At first, I thought that the teals had it sewn up. But since you got the nun over, and after this fantastic bush rescue, I'd say it's anyone's game. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Looking at the lions. Hang on. What's this? Don't you tell me how to speak to my own daughter. We need this competition. We owe at least half the prize money to the plastic surgeon. Do you think I should show someone? I don't know. Thing is, Ellie said she wants us to win. But if her dad knew I got that, well, I don't know what he'd do. I was hoping for a bit of support. I'll support you. Whatever you decide to do. Can't you give me a bit of guidance? You could ask our dad. Office. She's good at this stuff. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Oh, hiya! Good safari. I thought I'd better iron a few clothes for the big day tomorrow. It's the grand final. And do you know what? We are going to win. I've written a poem. I thought I could read it out for the judges. It's called 50 Ways to Love Your Mother. It's like 50 Ways to Leave Your Mother, but all about how much I worship the woman that gave birth to me. We ain't wrong, Room. Have you been out in the sun? Because it can do funny things to you. What can I say? I've seen the light. I realise that if we win this competition, then all our dreams can come true. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings. Hello and welcome she's up to summer. Maybe she's had a religious conversion. She's writing poems about how much she loves me. She's definitely up to summer. If he's lucky. Now we've got to mind our piece of fuse. Where's Fizz? Not showing a ring? No. The costume's there, but she's not. Did you see a sneak out? I was busy with the TV. Have you finished your biscuits? Almost. Must be time to go home and get some more. Hey, it's going to be great when we're all back home together. We can buy our house. Hey, you could buy the old street. You could buy the chippy and the pub. You'd be like the queen of Coronation Street. Yeah. But that's only if we win. And some folk don't want us to win. You don't think we'll win? I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Maybe this will help. What is it? Prize money to the plastic surgeon. The one who said I'd say he boobs and a hook nose. You are the best son in the whole wide hey. world. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mum, you're crushing me. Apparently the safari went really well, and according to Alfie, we're in with a really good chance. That, that's great. I haven't told them about you. Reckon I'll tell them our plans after we've won the competition. Uh, okay. Right, best get back before they notice I've sneaked out. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>
Where have you been? Um, just getting some fresh air. What if someone recognised you without your habit? You didn't. I was careful. You were up to something. I want to win this competition just as much as you. I am this close to riches beyond my wildest dreams. Yeah, and we can all have our dreams. Don't forget Chesney's dream. Oh, don't you dare mess this up for me. You might find this strange, Mother, but for once in our lives, you and I want exactly the same thing. I don't know where it's come from, but I've just had a very revealing glimpse into the private world of the family team. Now, don't celebrate too loudly, but it's in the bag. Five. This. Oh, listen up, boys. <laughs> I have just heard it from the horse's mouth. We are going to win tomorrow. Really? Is it a fix? No! Best family <laughs> won. <laughs> Turns out tales were too good to be true after all. Now, you two get an early night. I want your bright eyed and bushy tail for tomorrow. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Teamwork. Night night, Mum. Night night, Dad. Do your teeth. I'll be in to read your story. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for tomorrow, Les. We don't want to peak too soon. <laughs> Where's Fiona? Oh, ironing her habit. <laughs> you know, I may have misjudged that girl. <laughs> Turns out she's more like me than I dared hope. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what are you doing? Random security sweep. I'm checking all the bedrooms for anything suspicious. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, how did she get onto my balcony? We're 17 floors up. I'm security. I can get anywhere. Oh, I like that. Just think, after tomorrow, we could be together forever. Yeah. Have you got time for a quickie? I reckon. <laughs> Tell me more about Manchester. It's grey and it rains. There's no tell she need to know. But it will be our new home. Oh, no. As soon as we got them big books, we're going somewhere else with sun. Now I've felt its warm glow, I'm not going back to sunbeds. How'd you fancy Australia? Mm. Yeah. But what about the kids? You promised Chesney. How many times? It's not real. I'm not really Mother Teresa. In fact, one week of mothering that lot's more than enough for a lifetime. No. We pack the kids on a plane home and they can look after themselves. I'm ready for some serious me time. shining on Sun City and in the smiles of our two fabulous families. Let's hear it for them. Come on. <laughs> now, as you know, as you know, we've been keeping a close eye on these families for the last seven days. 
I feel like I've got to know them better than I know my own family. <laughs> and let me just say, I think I love them even more. Oh. But it is a competition and there can only be one winner. So, let's have a warm welcome for our first family on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the family Battersby. That's it. Oh. My favorite little disabled teenager. <laughs> so tell me, Chesney, what was your favorite thing in South Africa? I don't know. It's hot. I'm stuck in this wheelchair. Uh, <laughs> he liked lions. Ah. That was favorite, it. <laughs> But tell me, Silly, you, you've come so far. You, you've triumphed over so many personal tragedies. What will it mean to you to win this competition? Oh, Alfie, it would be great to win such a fantastic competition. But when I look at my family, I know I'm already a winner. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, a role model for mothers throughout the world. Hey, come on! So tell me, Ed, how committed are you to this family? Tell you something, Elfie. I would die for my family. I would endure torture for my family. You know, if my wife or my daughter needed a, a transplant, I would study and become a surgeon. And I would rip out my internal organs and I'd transplant them into my girls. Well, that is a whole load of commitment that you have there, Ed. And it gives me a great idea for a new challenge for next year's competition. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, the, the lovely, multi-talented Ellie? I mean, the dream daughter. <laughs> what did you get out of this competition? Well, I've learned that families come in all different shapes and sizes. But what they really all have in common is trust, honesty, and love. Yeah, I second that. She's quite a little philosopher. <laughs> that was a beautiful thought, Ellie, beautiful. But it's time now for the judges to make up their minds. So could we have both families back on stage, please? Give them a round, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> going down, Barbie. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. The judges were unanimous. And the winner of the Sunshine Family of South Africa is... The Battersby! <laughs> Just keep smiling. <laughs> so, little guy, how are you feeling now? Disgusted. And ashamed. It's not real. It's all lies. <gasps> it's a miracle! Must be the emotion! Have you got something you want to say, son? I knew there was something fishy about that boy. Chesney? I don't need a wheelchair. He's not my dad. He's not my brother. She is my sister, but she's not a nun. And she is my mum. Sort of. She never wanted me. Never cared for me. I was in care most of the time, or she went off doing whatever she wanted. 
She's the biggest liar I know. She just lies and lies and lies. I haven't seen her for ages. And then she said if we won this competition, she'd come home with me. But that was just another one of the lies. Come on, let's get out of here before it turns next. Can I have security on stage, please? You had to lie to it. The judges have decided that the Battersby's will be stripped of their title and their prizes. Yes! Yes! These are the winners. We are the Sunshine family. We're the best family in the whole damn world. You should be ashamed of yourself. Give me that. You fool, it's mine. You think I'm bad? You should see him. He's a drunk and a bully. Listen to her, the lies just spilling out of the back. Call it quits. You have trophy. We'll have money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. But the judges have decided to withdraw all prizes and to abandon the competition. What? You can't do that. We won this competition fair and square. I wouldn't go there if I were you, whiskey man. We've got footage of your family, and believe me, it's ugly. Security, remove these people from the stage, please. No! No! Get up there. Oh. I've been looking for you. Don't you start. I'm not in mood. Get in. You ran pretty fast for a boy in a wheelchair. Are you okay? Your dad seemed pretty angry. My mum's leaving him. They're getting a divorce. I'm sorry. I trusted you. I even liked you. Do you know what? Just like your mother. A liar. Are you sure you can't come back with me? I wish I could. Maybe we just got carried away. Maybe it was just one of them holy romances. It's fun while it lasted. No regrets. Just happy memories. You should go back to work. Oh, it's OK. No, please, I want you to go. Because if you stay, then I'm going to cry. And that would be stupid, because it was just a holiday romance, wasn't it?
was here for the airport. Good. The sooner we get out of this sunshine paradise, the better. What are you doing here? I came to say goodbye and to thank you for allowing me to be your father for a week. It was fun. You did a good job. Thank you. My mum doesn't deserve you. Yeah, you are right. So where is she now? Don't know. Don't care. I hope she's all right. Chesney, come on. Let's go home. After eight long years in the wilderness, he's back and he means business. Ladies and gentlemen, your friend and mine, Alfie Block. <laughs> Boy, it is great to be back. I've missed you guys almost as much as you've missed me. <laughs> Boy, do I have a treat for you today. My special guest has a lucrative book in the offing. Her agent tells me Hollywood is calling. She's bold. She's brash. She is the world's worst mother. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Cilla Battersby. <laughs> I know what you mean. Sometimes it feels like a big act. Ah, uh, yeah. Last, last, I, sorry, can I take a picture? Yeah. Cut, cut. Maybe it was just one of them holiday romances. Maybe we just got carried away. Fun while it lasted. Sorry, I said the wrong. Is it? Yeah, it was supposed to be the other way around. Sorry. We were really worried about you. No need. My mum never misses a breakfast. A breakfast? <laughs> Make sure you get all of them here. That's the way, Rick. Come on, you lot. Come on. No hanging about. Go over there. Go on. Unbelievable. What's going on? The Jones family have just been disqualified. Yeah. Yes. Turns out the kids are not adopted at all. They borrowed them from some under-10 football team. They were cheating. Can you believe it? But look, I can't speak now. Sorry. <laughs> I can, literally, I can't speak now. I see a dress like a playboy bunny. Some block. Check. Malaria. It's already do the uh, high five. There's one for your outtakes. Oh my god. Take my time and rinse and hold. You don't want with out of soul. Hey, that honey. Did you want a little more of your money? Sorry. Sorry, Wayne. I'll get a bruise on my shoulder as well. Okay. Sorry, Kevin. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes! <laughs> no, you're right. I'm choked. Choked the nun. Right. Les, you carry Chesney and leave Ray. Yeah, but Kirk saved us. Do you want to win this competition and live a live, live? Oh, for poo! Sorry. I've come halfway across the world to do exactly what I do, Miss. Sorry. Thanks. Do you want to win this competition and live happily ever after or not? Then trust me. Les, he's your dad. And he saved his family after your stupid adaptogen to took the brush. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>